Okay, so now we've basically gone through the first two parts of, of the equilibration. And fortunately, we're finding out here, it looks like we're not going to need to really do anything uh, restoratively. I commented earlier, can I have a shim, please, Nana? That we find that, that we brought to our first canine. And typically, when I will classically stop equilibrating the post is when I bring one canine into contact. Close down here. And what we find is that's exactly what we have on numbers close again. Squeeze there. On, on um, 11 and 22. And again, close down. Even on numbers of uh, 6 and 27, even though it's light, we have contact there too. And that's a good point to stop. I'm very, very comfortable with that. In, um, in Debbie's situation, well, in any situation, we would like to not have solid stops, unlike some others that believe. We don't really want to have solid stops. We would like to have, again, the 8 micron shim very lightly pull through on all the anterior teeth. Close down, open, close, open, close, open, close. And so we have no hold. In reality, when we restore these teeth, because we will be doing porcelain laminates on these, in reality, I'm actually going to extend, extend them a little bit. I mean, they're just barely out of contact. But that's actually a very, very, very nice, acceptable. We have nice protective anterior guides, protective with the posterior teeth. And I think we've established a, a relationship that's not going to be harmful to the anterior teeth now. So what we really want to check now is I, I, we're comfortable with the anterior guidance as far as being protective of the posterior teeth. We want to see is that anterior guidance is it in the way of the envelope of function, okay? And so what I'm going to do, Debbie, I'm going to have you sit up here a little bit, okay? Okay, I'm have you sit up. And we use this very heavy, very heavy horseshoe paper. Are you okay, carry on, what are you seeing there? It's very heavy horseshoe. I think it's 200 microns, I think that is, isn't it? 200 microns. And Debbie, what I'm going to do, I'm going to put this in. I'm actually going to have you set up all the way here. And I'm going to put this in. I'm just going to want you to chew. Just okay. pretend like you had an old piece of chewing gum back there and you were chewing on your back teeth. And what we like to see here, what we're going to expect to see, is that we're expecting to want to see marks on the canines but not on the anterior teeth. And we're going to see if that is in fact the case. And that would be our, our envelope of functional interferences. Because we don't want to have any contact of 7 through 10 in, in function. Go ahead and just kind of chew on that. Go ahead and just chew. Chew on the back teeth. Just kind of chew the back teeth. I a whole piece of chewing gum. And sometimes we'll actually put a piece of chewing gum in there. But it gets kind of messy sometimes. So we're not going to do it for the video here. Okay, head back now a little bit. Then open. And as I look at this, I see, I do see, interestingly, I don't know if you can see that or not, Terry, can you get in there and see? We have heavy marks on the canines here, heavy marks on the canines. Now, if you were to interpret this, you would say, oh my gosh, look at all those interferences in a post But you got to remember that that paper is very, very, very thick, very heavy. And we know for a fact that there aren't any, any interferences in those post So we're not going to really even pay attention to those. But again, on the anterior teeth here, and we don't even know for a fact that, that are these true interferences or not. We're going to go in and very lightly, very lightly adjust these. And we know very clearly that if we eliminate these marks on 7 through 10, we're very, very, very safely out of the envelope of function. Okay, this is very minimal. And again, I have the choice of either reducing the lingual of the upper anteriors, or I can go in and very lightly reduce the facial incisals, the lower anteriors. And again, I'm very confident here that the amount of reduction we're dealing with is very minimal. And again, I'm not really shortening these teeth. Let's go ahead and clean this off a little bit again. And remember, we're dealing with with um, paper here that's, that's 200 microns thick. You know, it's a fifth of a millimeter. This is thick stuff. So we have to keep that in mind when we're doing and what we're looking at and interpreting what we're seeing. Okay, that's, that's a good thing for Donna. Let's go ahead and try the, the blue again. And one more time. Mm -hmm. Just chew away. Back teeth, just kind of chewing those back teeth. Pretend, yeah, and just even kind of lean your head forward a little bit. Okay, and open. Good. I see now I still have a little bit of a mark here on, on eight. Rather nine, rather nine and ten. At this point, Donna, I'm going to go with some red, red, red um, silk, please. Just a piece of free red silk. We're going to check the same now with, with the red silk. I believe it's 60 microns. Just breathe. Okay, 
Had to go ahead there now and just chew again. Lean your, oops, excuse me. Lean your head forward a little bit, Debbie. Go ahead and just bite down and chew. Chew on your back teeth. Yeah, just chew the line away. Open. Head back a little bit. Now, as we look at this, this would be nice to take a look at here. What we'll see, can you get your camera off there? Can you show this? Yeah, just hold on. Okay. Okay, if we look at this, what we'll see, obviously, or clearly, there's no red marks on, on these teeth. And very nicely, we can see that we have red marks on, on, on uh, numbers 22 and 27 here. That mark is really probably just a, a centric stop there. But um, we see on the uppers, too, we see that there are no... No, no red marks at all on 7 through 10. We have nice, heavy guiding contacts on numbers 6 and 11, which is what we really want. And so the question becomes now one of, are those, are those contacts on, on, our guidance contacts on 6 and 20, um, 6 and 11 rather, are they heavy? Just, how do you feel? Are you aware of those at all? Do you feel like you're, you're, you're banging into or bumping into? Not at all. 6 and 11? Yeah. No. You're probably, okay. if, 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 if Debbie were concerned, if she said, you know, I feel like I'm kind of banging into that tooth, and we'll reevaluate this in a couple weeks. Mm -hmm. You know, we might, because we see nice, heavy, heavy guiding contacts. The question is, is there any kind of a frictional relationship where it's harmful to those teeth? It's that very fine balance between being protective and guiding and being destructive, mm -hmm. okay? And I would say, based upon what you're feeling here, that we'd like to just let this go and, mm -hmm. and see how it feels. I don't know. Okay. Now, what I'd like you to do, Debbie, just tap your teeth lightly together now. And, and now squeeze. Squeeze real firmly. Do you have any awareness of any tooth in your mouth at all? you have any awareness of anything at all? And that's the best word I can describe it. It, it may feel like it's heavy or just an awareness that one tooth you feel more than the other teeth. Do you have any sense of that? You know, I think on my left side. One Maybe spot? just one heavy spot. Okay, can you tell about where it is? Mm. Okay. Maybe 14, 13. Okay. okay. By the way, Debbie is an assistant, so that's why she knows these tooth numbers, okay? <laughs> Debbie's an animal assistant. That's why she knows what's going on. Right in this area. Okay, open up. Okay, Donna, we need to, we need some cleaning to do here. We've got some blue marks all over the place here. Go ahead and grind all around there. Okay, pretty well. Yeah, but just a, a dry verbal, please. Mm -hmm. Finish it off here. We want to make sure we uh, clean your lips off, or some of the people think you're spying out if you're something mm -hmm. here, Debbie. So we got, got ink all over you here. Mm -hmm. yeah, it's pretty blue. Mm -hmm. Okay, let's go with this. Yeah, let's go with some red, red foam rather. Okay, Debbie, go ahead. Chop, 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 chop. Okay. Open. Now what I'll do is I'll look at it, I see marks all over. I'm going to tap on these teeth, Debbie. See if, if I can evoke, if you can get the sense of which tooth it is. I'm going to really go and tap on all the contacts I see. One, two, three, four. Any of those seem like? Two. Number two. Okay, open. And if we look at that, if you can zoom in at all, you can see we do have a pretty, looks like a pretty heavy contact here on 14. And I'm going to go really lightly. And I'm going, I mean, I'm almost using a pencil eraser here now. This is very, 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 very subtle. Try that thing. Feel like it? It's better. Maybe just a tiny more. Was that the spot, though? Uh huh. That was the spot? Yeah, okay. Because it is better. Okay, open here. And what I'll feel, go ahead, Debbie. Tap your teeth together. I'm going to feel if there's any firmness or any. Alright, now I'm going to feel it. Open here. Go ahead and mark again here. Cut, 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 cut. Open. Okay, let's go over those contacts again here. 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 One, two, three, four. Maybe three. Okay. Now let's go here. What I want you to do is ever so slightly, and the shim is always a great way to check too. And, and about, I'd say about 50% of the cases, as we see with Debbie here, when we're done with everything, there'll be a little spot here or there to touch up. About 50% of the cases, there's, there's nothing. And so we're fortunate we have a case to show that. Just bite down very, very lightly. That's holding very light. Oh, bite down. Oh, excuse me. More softly. Open. Again, sit real soft. 
Open. Rosa. Open. Rosa. Okay, open. You make it right. <laughs> it is so, so very, mm -hmm. very, very, very slight. Mm -hmm. Open you. Now let's mark red again. It might be number 13. Mm -hmm. Open. Yeah, and what if I'm wrong? What if I over reduce a, uh, a stop here? <laughs> the amount we're dealing with, I'm probably taking off what, maybe 5, 10 microns in a pass here. That tooth's going to erupt in a matter of hours back to, or days back to where it was. So well, I don't want to be overly aggressive in reduction. If I if I inadvertently take something off, it's going to be back in contact very quickly. Go ahead. Right. Mm -hmm. Is that it? That was it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, squeeze real tightly, real firmly. Mm -hmm. This is a case where, for those of you who are familiar with the, the tech scan or the T-scan, it's really, really nice. It's a very expensive piece of instrumentation. I don't utilize it. I don't really use it. But I can get it for these little fine tunings. It would, it would be nice. But it's, again, it's a very expensive piece of equipment. I just really haven't found that I've needed it. Go ahead. Squeeze real tight, real firmly. Mm -hmm. Any awareness of anything at all? Mm -mm. Okay. Grind your teeth around. Any awareness of any teeth at all? Any awareness? Anything in the way? Let me sit you back up here. Mm -hmm. Sit you back up. Feels good. Feels good? Mm -hmm. no squeeze. And mm -hmm. No awareness of anything at all? Mm -mm. Feels good. very even. Good. Okay, well, let's tap her. Very present. nice. Mm -hmm.